dreamstime.com audio. Okay. Hello everyone, um, Vishwas Gajara. I'm currently pursuing my master's in robotics and autonomous systems from IIC Bangalore and I scored All India Rank of 19 in Gate Aerospace 2022. Today we are here with um, Mr. Aswin Kumar. He has scored uh, All India Rank of 6 in Gate 2024 in Aerospace Engineering. Uh, Aswin, could you introduce your self in brief and give a little bit about uh, your background, bachelor's and native place. Sure. Uh, I'm Ashwin Krishna Kumar. I'm from uh, Bangalore. I pursued my B in Mechanical Engineering from Acharya Institute of Technology. After that, I worked for Z-Motion Autonomous Systems, which is a UAV manufacturing company for a period of two years before resigning and uh, preparing for GIT. Mm -hmm. So, how are you currently feeling after securing all engineering six? Uh, it's good. Uh, it's uh, good that the hard work paid off. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's happy. That's nice. So, what was your expectations before the giving the exam? What were your like top top ten, top twenty? What was your expectation? Rank? I didn't expect this. Uh, I did okay. it well, but I didn't expect a single digit rank. No. Okay. Ah, congratulations, sir. Okay, so what was the motivation uh, for writing your GATE exam? Like, you know, you were working in the industry. So what motivated you to write the GATE exam? Uh, I feel that uh, if you want to work in the industry and take your career to the next level, you need a very specialized skill set and a very specialized mm -hmm. knowledge base, which you would gain if you pursue your master's from a reputed institute. So how far along the your job and career you decided to start your gate preparation and how did you come to know about uh, the IGC? Uh, it was, I think, around July 2023, July, August 2023, where I uh, decided that I need to do this. And uh, on surfing the net, uh, since I'm not from the aeronautical background, I needed some help with respect to resources. So I searched the web, I found out about IGC, and uh, I enrolled in the distance learning program. And so how was the IGC helpful in overall? Like, you know, you are from mechanical background, and you have, we have lots of different subjects in the aerospace engineering, and quite a different concept. So how was the IGC helpful in understanding of the subjects and assignments or exams? Uh, I found the notes uh, very helpful from mm -hmm. that I got through the distance learning program. They were very crisp up to the point. And uh, more than the notes, I think the feedback that I got for the test series, they were really instrumental in getting me exam ready. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, during the preparing or preparation of your gate, uh, what was the toughest thing that you faced? Toughest thing that I faced was probably maintaining consistency throughout the mm. entire preparation cycle. It was difficult, but you have to do it. So, and what were uh, being from mechanical background? What were what were whatever the subjects you find uh, you found interesting in the aerospace? Or since what were the subjects? Work, you found? Yeah, since I work for uh, the U a UAV company, I started getting interested into stability performance. Those were interesting topics. So I preferred learning those subjects more. So uh, did you feel any uh, kind of low or self-doubt did you have during the preparation? And how did you manage the? Uh, yeah, there were times where uh, I felt low. Uh, but whenever that happened, I used to take half an hour to uh, one hour off, relax, and then get back to preparation. And that worked for me. Ah, so you're good with maintaining discipline and consistency. It's very good. Uh, and what was your schedule like in the last two months of the preparation, or before two months of the exam? Okay. Uh, last 
what I essentially did was I set the daily targets that I needed to complete. Uh, for example, it could be revising a certain topic or uh, completing a subject wise or chapter wise test or the mock test. But on a whole, the last two months, I made it a target to complete all the chapter wise tests and subject wise tests by the end of December. And uh, January was reserved for uh, the test series. And what was your revision strategy for the last last months? Revision strategy uh, based on my uh, mock tests, I would gauge where I'm a little weak and I would go revise those subjects a little more. And I would I knew before starting this that there are certain topics that I'm good at and certain topics that I'm not very fond of. So I would just try to equalize my strengths and weaknesses. So apart from the IGC's coaching materials and support, uh, were there any materials did you refer and what were the materials? How? how... The Mainly my extra content came from uh, YouTube. Uh... And uh, I'm also a member of the IGC. I'm also connected to IGC. So I know IGC so it provides much more broader support than just a gate preparation. So could you share anything specific which you liked most about the ICC? Uh, what I liked about the uh, IGC during the last month of uh, during month of January, uh, they conducted uh, live sessions for analysis and uh, also kept uh, sending messages in the group to keep the morale of all the aspirants high, which I found uh, as a very good initiative. Mm -hmm. And what is your advice for upcoming gate aspirants for 2025, specifically for those who do not have a background for aerospace, like you cracked from the mechanical and scored a very high rank. So what's your advice for the upcoming aspirants? Well, I'll tell them that it's uh, it's not going to be easy, uh, but uh, just maintain consistency and uh, your hard work doesn't go to waste. That's all I would like to say. Thank you.